These stoves use technologies and fuel that has been developed as substitute energy to replace the use of oil fuel energy under an idea and plan from the Ministry of Energy. They are using the local energy sources such as wind energy, solar energy, and bioenergy, which are considered to be pure sources and environmentally friendly, nor created greenhouse effects, which are part of global warming. These technology that the Ministry of Energy has recently shown to young people at m i c a o Energy Office has come in varied forms of stoves and different given names, such as bio energy stove, grilled chicken stove, economy stove, incinerator stove, and even millionaire stove or super anglo stove. Whatever they call it, the stove is built for cooking and kitchen purposes. The sources of the fire come from sticks, branches, palm grain cases, coconut shells, corn stubble, and unused sugar cane, which can be used as fuel. The working principle of the stove is that the air flows up in a sort of vacuum where oxygen is limited, causing the energy to continually develop, changing the hard energy into a gas fuel. And by so doing, the fuel gas of one or two kilograms can be used for 30 to 45 minutes. If there is any reductions of the fuel during the operating time, they can always add scraps of sticks or branches as sources of fire and energy. The average heat is approximately around 800 to 900 degrees Celsius, making this technology an efficient use of energy. We would see a role from the energy office from Yala Province. Said, if we use the stove, it can help reduce to use of LPG gas, and it is quite easy to find pieces or scraps of sticks and branches to use as f u e l These energy power substitutions can not only help reduce the use of power, but also helps cut down costs in household payment. Anyone who is interested in this energy power substitution stoves can contact the regional energy offices, like the one in Suratani, on 077-404-0324, or email them on region11 at energy.go.th. If you have any good ideas like this, or like we showed last year on how to make motorcycle fuel from cow dung by a farmer in Telang, Phuket, or on any inventions to save energy, please spread the news by letting us know by email on andamannews@yahoo.com. I'm Sanisha reporting for Andaman News on NBT.